Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central, and I've got another quick SQL prompt tip brought to you by Redgate Software. So one of the things that I often do is I'll end up creating a database, and typically I'll do it something like this, which is a simple and easy way to do that. But I can't customize anything, and this doesn't necessarily meet the standards of my organization. SQL prompt makes this easier. If you'll notice, I have this CDB snippet, and when I hit tab, I actually get the chance to enter that database name here at the top, and it will fill out the proper virtual file name and physical file names for me for both the data and the log, it has another items and comments here. Let me customize this snippet. That'll work a little bit better for me. Now I've gone ahead and customized the snippet and you'll notice this time when I type this in and I hit tab, what I actually get is not only the name here, but I've got the full path for this particular system set up. So if I have a standard path on all of my servers, that's there. You'll notice I've actually changed the virtual name to be T log here. So there's no confusion as well. And then I've set trustworthy on because Typically when I'm creating databases, I have trustworthy on because they're development databases. And if I execute this entire statement, it runs just fine. And then I will see that I've in fact got a demo database here in my system. Hopefully this is a quick tip for SQL prompt that'll help you when you build databases. I'm Steve Jones for SQL Server Central and Redgate Software.